Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the glass fibers and its production process. So what is a glass fiber? Glass fibers are fibers which are prepared from the molten glass which is the most usually fibers used in the industries. These glass fibers are available in the form of yarns, rowings, woven fabrics and mats. They can be a popular matrix material for the manufacturing of the fiber glass or thermoset such as unsaturated polyester, epoxies and thermoplastics such as nylon, polyamide and polycarbonate etc. This fiber glass form a la laminate structure with different fibers. So what is a laminate structure? Laminate structure is a structure which has a flat sheet uh, joined or uh, combined with the resin that is a sheet uh, resin is applied over the top and then a sheet is placed and then resin is applied at the top this is a laminate structure with a different fiber orientations in the reinforcing glass layers the concentration of the glass fibers is about 40 to 670 percent these glass fibers are most versatile in industrial materials known today they exhibit useful bulk properties such as hardness resistance to chemical attack stability and inertness as well as fiber properties such as strength flexibility and stiffness then fiber is fall into two categories first one is low cost general purpose fibers and premium special purpose fibers the most 90 percent are used as today is general purpose products then some of the letters used for the indication of the uh, properties such as e designated as electrical properties such as low electrical conductivity and s yes, for strength high strength c for high chemical durability and m for the high stiffness a for alkali and d for low dielectric constant these are all the properties then it is the e glass that is electrical low electrical conductivity glass fibers the continuous filaments are made into a mat then types of glass fibers glass is an amorphous material that consists of a silica backbone with various oxide components the e glass consists of a alumino borosilicate composition with maximum of 2% alkali s glass constitutes of the high strength glass with 40 percent higher strength and better property retention at high temperature then c glass that is a chemical resistant glass it has a soda, soda lime borosilicate composition so that it can be able to withstand in corrosive environments quartz used for electrical appliances where a low dielectric material required such as the antennas electronic products uh, such as watches etc then comes to production of glass fibers so how the glass fibers are produced this process is uh, consists of uh, drawing the monofilaments from a furnace in the furnace the glass pieces that is the raw material for the production of glass fibers or put it on the furnace the glass forms a molten glass and then it can be drawn into a monofilament from the furnace and gathering them to form a strand these strands are held together with a resinous binder the properties obtained are the density and huge strength and higher elongation is also possible this is the process showing the production of the glass fibers in the furnace 
the raw glass materials are fed into it and then the glass melts finally the glass can be drawn from the furnace it can be uh, wo woven wound on the reels so that different yarns can be produced at a, and uh, can be used for the production of the composite material this is the simple diagram with a hopper the raw materials are put it together then it goes to the furnace finally the glass fibers are drawn from the bushing and then it can be wound into the reels and the fiber manufacturing process has effectively two variants the raw material can be of the marbles or uh, in the form of a, a small pieces um, then uh, the other uses the direct melting route in which a furnace a continuously charged with raw materials which are melted and refined as the glass reaches uh, above a set of platinum rhodium bushings as we seen in this diagram platinum rhodium bushings from which the fibers are drawn and the glass viscosity is between 600 to 1000 p and the rate of the fiber production at the nozzle is a function of rate of flow of glass because if the input is more the output is more so if the flowing of the molten glass is more then the fiber production that is the drawing of the glass fibers is also at the higher rate this is also a simple diagram showing the various temperatures of this glass at various chambers first the raw materials are put it in a hopper then it comes to the furnace while the molten the chamber is in the for, uh, temperature of 1540 degrees celsius the molten glass in the degree celsius of 1370 then uh, the remove uh, the removal of the uh, dust or the foreign matters can be uh, removed in this refiner chamber uh, in this uh, the temperature is just reduced uh, by 30 degrees celsius then the forehead it is the critical part of this uh, fiber glass fiber making process because it is the important part where the uh, glass fibers can be drawn into uh, fibers finally it can be of a temperature of 1 to 60 degrees celsius from which the uh, foreheads are used to pull or draw the molten metal sorry molten glass into a glass fiber and can be winded this is the fiberglass forming process the wounded uh, fiberglass is made by uh, when the molten glass is uh, converted into fibers it can be possible by means of a cooling at the outlet only in this uh at the applicator and the bushing there presents a water spray from which only the molten metal is cooled and then it can be uh, made into a uh, solid uh, ductile solid with the ductile property and can be uh, wounded in uh, reels the strand or a silver is collected into a spiral form this is a forming winder it can be uh, in form of any shape then it can also be cutted using a chopper to make the chopped strands then the molten glass flows to a platinum rhodium alloy bushings and then through individual bushing tips and orifices ranging from 0.76 to 2.03 mm and it is rapidly quench quench means uh, sudden heating 
heating and sudden cooling and attenuated in air and converted into fine fibers of 3 to 35 micrometer from mm to micrometer this is the fineness of the glass fiber and the mechanical winders pull the fibers at velocity of 61 meter per second then furnace the furnace is a critical part the temperature is above 1600 degrees celsius and the inner walls are made or lined with the refractory bricks because it must withstand the heat inside it otherwise it will be a huge loss for the industry for the heating condition so what are the properties the properties which can be obtained from this glass fiber are low cost and high production rate high strength high stiffness low density it cannot be flammable and resistant to heat good chemical resistant etc and thermal stability it can withstand huge temperature without any degradation flammability or oxidation resistant it is not uh, react with the oxygen and other chemicals and compressive strength it has a moderate uh, compressive strength but uh, it will be um, more than the e and s glass and the cost the raw material is cheap so that the final product can also be a cheap product cheap and cheap means a quality with low cost strength and modulus it has enough strength and modulus so applications are defense aerospace commercials cargo liners rotor blades etc and transportation electrical electronics building construction infrastructure medical products etc so this is the short video friends if you like this video please hit a thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and please subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching